What's good, everybody? Yes, your boy, Jose Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And man, we are talking about Congolese YouTuber Robin Wright. Robin Wright. Now, you guys remember, um, the Congo was colonized by King Leopold in Belgium. And so, uh, you know how that is. And, and many of the, the people, uh, it's a Francophone uh, country, right? It's the biggest Francophone country in Africa. So a lot of Congolese find themselves um, in France, Belgium, places like that. And Robin Wright does also. Now, Robin Wright has a YouTube channel, which is about 66,000 people. Uh, she's doing the typical stuff. Uh, she's weaving. She is definitely sandaling it up. Um, pretty much doing what, you know, I guess what women do, which is weave it. <laughs> Sandal it up, lifestyle. I mean, this is you know typically, and, and they're up there singing on the you know, like it, it's 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 always the same shit. Um, weaving, sandaling, singing. Um, new boots, new weaves, sandaling. New dress, slaying, sandaling. Leather coats, sandaling. <sighs> you get my drift. We've all seen it. You've seen them once. You've seen all of them, right? But anyways, the. The difference thing here is she is also in a swirling relationship, right? Now, this relationship is with this guy named Walid. Now, stop the show. He's actually an Algerian guy. Um, but he, he got that, like, I'm an Algerian or Arab guy, but I'm, I'm trying to look like I'm black. You know what I mean? Like, he got the, like the, the, the line up. He looked like one of them dudes that grew up in Compton, but he liked black girls, but he actually liked Arab. Okay? And um, and, and so what happened, and, and from what I can see in the comment section, a lot of women find him to be attractive. And what I've read, shout out over on official Sis G, Sis G official, because she's messy. Um, You know, a lot of the, the swirlers on her old videos and things th believe that he was way too much handsome for her. Um, that's personal opinion. I don't know. Basically, they feel like, you know, like, like she didn't deserve him. All right. But nonetheless, they were married and they have a child to get together. But what happened was while she was swirling it up, sandaling it up, you know, and you know what happens. They want to have these little swirl videos. This is my boyfriend tag and all of this. And you see it all the time when they do this, right? They get a boyfriend, they get a girlfriend or, or whatever boyfriend. And they start doing the playlist and me and my interracial guy. Well, what they don't know is, is that you basically expose him to other females. And do you know what happens? This is the first time, right? Because Natural 85 said the same thing. Natural 85 said that her husband, Felipe, I believe his name, who's a blue Brazilian, he left her for a subscriber. Now, I wonder what that subscriber was. I can guarantee you that subscriber was black. And what's happening is, is that all these women are empowering the sisters to go out there and get them another option these african sisters our black sisters are in these guys inboxes and, and they think like, like 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 they're really empowering sisters no you're just pretty much given the opportunity for some other chick to take the guy from you and let me just say this right and I, i'm in i'm in uganda right now i was talking to jonita and i asked jonita why is it that African women don't post their boyfriends or their um, their husbands on social media? 
She said, well, the answer is quite simple because we don't want to advertise for some woman to try to take him from them. So I thought that it was just girls being players and not advertising who they're dating. No, they do that because they don't want other women taking them from them because what happens is that people can be so desperate you're advertising them and then they're basically in their inbox or in their DMs trying to holler. Well, as Robin Wright was out here showing her Algerian man off to the world, somebody got in the inbox and he went over and hit that. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because she introduced him to the chick that was going to take him from her. And and now she's divorced. And I mean, and it, and it, I mean you think about it, 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 is, it is sad, right? Um, you know, a lot of women are saying that she deserves better. She can do better than this. Um, and then also, he was cheating on her while she was pregnant again. Um... But the reality is, it's going to be difficult for her. Because number one, um, I, I, I've already talked about this. No, if she ever wants to go back to the Congolese community, and, 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 and as forgiving as some African men can be, it's going to be quite hard for an African guy to want to come in and take care of a baby that's half Arab, half black. It, it's it's going to be definitely difficult. So, and, and and let's just be honest. We're talking about high value guys. Um, you know, if there are high value black guys in France, and that's one thing I know about. I noticed since I was in London. When you're in France, in places like that, a lot of the high value guys um, in Europe, Germany, London. It, they don't really be checking for a lot of sisters like that. They, they just don't. Um, for whatever reason, they have the same issues that we have in America. Um, one of the worst places you want to be a, a, a sister is in, like, Europe. All right? Because uh, guys are just not, black guys are just not checking for you as much. Like, interracial marriages is, like, super-duper high. Um, swirling it up is super-duper high. And if you're a guy doing, any, any, you know, very, very well, you know, you're just not really checking for black chicks because you have too much... There, there's just too much out there um and so being a single mom after swirling it up with uh with, 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 with Walid, it's, it's pretty much over for her um and again you, you have to go out and then when they see that the child is not like fully black and then you're wondering like where's the dad at and lo and behold he's gonna be with the subscriber that he met off her page. And the thing about it is, is that, you know, women will consider him to be very attractive. So it's not like his options are not open. He can go back to the Arab community. Um, he can go back, he can go to the white community. He could definitely go to the black community. While she can't, she can't go get another Arab. It's, uh, for her, it's over. And I, I just wanna say, with all of these IR relationships um, going down the drain, um, don't we wish that we would have been advertising our own people? Like, wouldn't it have been very nice to see her with her own people in, in like, you know, this probably, and if it would have, if, if it wouldn't have happened, it wouldn't be so devastating. But all the time, we're, we're always, as a group of blacks in the diaspora, we're always bigging up um, these people. You know, like, you never see an Arab guy on a YouTube channel and big up black women. But you always see black women start a channel and big up white people or big up Brazilians. Like you never see these guys do that and they own the channel. No, it's always a sister that gets these channels and then they bring these other guys into it and they're like, okay, whatever. And then what you do is you get them the most attention they've ever gotten because you're exposed into the world how nice he's treating you, what he's doing for you, your kid. And they want that life. Like th th these female subscribers do not like these ladies, like a lot of them. Um, 
and you know, and I, that's what these these women do. They will they will get their brads and their chicks. Uh, these chicks will get their brads and their and their and their boyfriends, and what they will do, um, they will post it up for a bag. Like, yo, we're gonna start a swirling channel, and not to know that once you um start posting and this guy's Instagram out there, these, these, there's women in his inbox. And if she looks good enough, he going to holler. And so then once you, once you lose the guy off your channel, then there's no more bag for you. Because if you built the channel, swirling it up, then that, I mean, after he's gone, that's a big part of your channel. So now you're dusty. <laughs> so now you're not even making as much money. And now you're broke. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't. But you know what? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe, hit the bell. Another swirler catches another L. Unfortunately, it is sad. Uh, but hopefully, you know, she can uh, rebound. Maybe they can get back together. Uh, because it's just going forward. It's going to be, you know, very, very difficult. But um, shout out to again to official sis G for um, the T as she will call it. Y'all will call it official uh, sis G always got some messy stuff going on. Right. So shout out to her and guys check out the Patreon link below. Um, always remember the buffoon remains at an all time high. Appreciate you. I'm out.